Yeah. Okay. All right, so. How did you guys feel right now? Or is that sweat? That's sweat. That's sweat. <laughs> Perspiration. All right, you're in. So when we get to the courts, we have a little warm-up lap. We actually have two laps. We're gonna do a mini version of that. It's a little bit of running. A little bit of shuffling. A little bit of the karaoke where you're working on your trunk rotation. Getting low with your setup. And we would do two laps around the three courts. Then as a team, we would get on the line and do our dynamic stretching. Ty's gonna run us through this. What would you call this, Ty? We're gonna let Ty not name everything. Toe touch stretch. <laughs> Toe touch stretch. I'll just go halfway. Yeah, we'll go halfway. Right. Can you hug? Ty likes hugging things. We'll change it every turn and every halfway just to give everyone just a visual. We'll go over these with everyone as a team, but just so you see and you can touch on it yourself to make sure you're not left behind these advanced stretches. Annika has some. Oh, yeah. It'll take you a lifetime to figure out. So we do a lot of these dynamic stretches just to get everything warm and everything loose so that when we start hitting our first ball, you're already sweating, get your heart rate up. The shuffling. Oh, shuffle. Yeah. This, let's do that, yeah. Do that again forward. This really mimics Sort of how we hit on our poach, these little shuffle steps. I think that's it. So we started with that two up reflex volleys, a lot of cross courts. Ties that bucket in the way. Next up, we're going to drop back to the service line, do a little short court where we're working on our split step, especially going and get that synced up. So we're working on shortening the backswing here so you can take a full finish without overplaying the ball. Really good. Probably add the legs. Maybe one more? Let's do one more. Full finish. You've already done your warm up routine. So you're already warmed up with your body. You probably got a sweat going. So to be moving in this shouldn't be a problem.
so we're still in the short court and we're just going to talk a little bit about the directions notice how Ty is playing a lot of balls cross court so it's forehand to forehand and then if she wants to get her backhand she can play her forehand to the backhand that would have been a good one yeah good start so we're playing that ball cross court I think this is how our short court will look a lot you're getting the legs synced up timing your split and if you want to get a backhand you play the forehand to the backhand there like that and then we go cross court with the backhand a little bit Last one. Why don't we do a few backhands cross court and then Ty can take one to your forehand. So Ty is trying to choose the right ball to take to his forehand. We're trying to stay away from the, the late inside out. So we're going cross court. Finish that swing. Great. See if you can look for a ball to go to the, the other side, to his backhand there, like that. Great. Really good. And then we back it up, both players back to the baseline. So many of your points are gonna be in these cross court rallies, so try to stay cross court in your warm up. Look for a ball like Ty did there to, to go to the player's other side without going inside out. Great ball. We're trying to get in a rhythm with our teammate. And what we look at is that we're putting the ball in our hitting zone. That's first. Great ball. Working a lot on spacing. Really good. I want to feel my legs under me in my warm-up so I know they're going to be there for the day. So we moved on to overheads. Ty's going to take a few overheads. The sun's so bad so often that we do a lot of swing volleys as well in that lob. So she's going to do a few swing volleys as too. Letting that ball come down to her zone. Nice. Very nice. Good round. Good round. So the overhead's warm. We're going to finish up with some combos. You going to do some combos? You'll protect me. I'll get behind you and we'll just look at the timing of the split and we'll see if as Ty is recognizing the law versus the volley that her first move off the split is matching that ball so it takes good balance and good vision nice moving focus on the split good You're doing a lot of good stuff up here, I'll, and I'm going to edit to the good ones, too. Right. 
time that split. Good split. Good, good split. Way to stay it, coach. Very cooperative, a lot of moving. Very nice, staying down. You can sort of anticipate that. Great split. It got better and better. Really good. Next up is overheads. The sun is bad so often out here. So make sure you touch in on some swing volleys where you let that lob come down to the below the shoulders. Maybe even some volleys out of the air because it's just tough to see it. There's a good swing volley. Don't worry, Ty, I'll edit those out. <laughs> right. Only the good ones. So Ty, we're talking about the sun being a big factor. So when you're doing this, make sure you take some swings as well, where you get the ball in your zone. And I'll mention that. Maybe uh, two or three more solid over. So our net players are both good. We're gonna move on to serves. And we start with second serves. Pants is just putting it to the middle of the box. Letting our returner work on starting up in the court as you see where Ty is. Whoops. Very nice. So our returners play in the lets, play in the out serves. She's playing every ball she can get her racket on. Just working on catching it in her zone. Landing on that front foot. That's some specific footwork to our returners. Is to stay open stanced. Land on that front foot, just like there. Very, very nice, Ty. Pulling that up the line. It's a big target we talk about. So coach is warmed up. Ties hit great returns. We'll go to the first serve. You can go to the first serve if you want. Yep. Ties change positioning. Really good. Our big focus on the first serve is get points started. Get into the point. If you got to see any Wimbledon, you saw a lot of that Fed even chipping the return against Rounich. Of course, if you can take a swing at it, take a swing. Great footwork. Hey, buddy. Great setup, time that split, really good. You just held your knee bend longer there, Ty. So now your your push is into the hit instead of before the hit where it doesn't help you hit it. I'll edit that out, but those look really good. Really good. So timing the legs, that's the key. You've got so much time. Smart return. Really good. Lastly, we're taking our serves. 
Taz hit her second serve to give her teammate a chance to attack some returns. So our warm up is sort of like slow motion. It's a slow motion serve. Very little take back. Racket gets to the ball and accelerates through, but it's not top speed. Ty's demonstrating that perfectly. It's just a good way to loosen up, a good way to make a lot of balls, and you're giving your teammate something they can attack. Ty's made about 10 serves in a row, so she's ready to go first serves. Or whenever you're ready to go first serves, you could mix it up. A lot of body. The returner is going to play the out serves just to work on getting ready for the match, making a lot of balls. We'll look at Ty coming out of this serve into a split. Good. Timed with coach's contact. like that. Great serving. All right, that's it.